let's do some math for fun, and this is about integral in calculus. And yes, I know, we did this integral before, right? However, I'm going to show you guys another way to do it in this video. Thanks to Fabian, he's the one who showed me how we can also do this integral this way. You can check out his comment right here. So, the integral of square root of tangent x over sine of 2x. Well, he suggests me that we can also use u substitution, that u equals to square root of tangent x, like that. It's not so obvious why would that u is equal to that, but let me tell you, it's going to work out perfectly, okay? And now, look at this, that square both sides, we have u squared is equal to tangent x, so that we can look at this and differentiate both sides, it's easier this way. So right here, the derivative u squared is going to be 2u du, and right here, the derivative tangent x is going to be secant square x dx. And as usual, I want to show you guys to isolate the dx, so let's divide secant square x on both sides. Therefore, dx is going to be 2u du over secant square x. And now, we can take this integral into the u world. So. On the top, this is going to be the integral of this right here, just u over, and here you see we have sine of 2x. Let me use the double angle formula for the sine, because right here you can see we have tangent x, and then here we have secant square x, right? We don't like to have the sine of 2x. So let's use the double angle formula to break this apart as 2 sine x cosine x. And then for the dx part is this, so we have the 2u du over secant square x, like that. So first, you see, this 2 and that 2 cancel, that's nice. On the top, we have u times u, that's u squared. And now, let me put this down right here for you guys. This is the integral, u squared on the top over, here we have the sine x, cosine x. This is the same as saying cosine square x, right? 1 over secant square x is cosine square x. So, and then, don't forget to put down the du. And now, what do we have? Well, here we have a cosine x in the denominator, here we have a cosine square x on the top, right? So we can cancel one of them out. And now you see, this is the integral u squared on the top, like this. And now let me pair things up for you guys. You see that here we have cosine x, this is to the first power. Cosine x over sine x is what? That's cotangent x. And then we still have this du right here. This is not allowed in the u world, right? Cotangent x. But let's look at this right here. U squared is equal to tangent x. Let me write this down for you guys. We know tangent x is equal to u squared. Well, what's the connection between cotangent x and tangent x? Well, you know, 1 over tangent x, which is the same as cotangent x, and this is going to be 1 over u squared then, right? So therefore, cotangent x is just 1 over u squared. So let me put this down right here. This is going to be the integral of u squared. This is just 1 over u squared. And then, of course, we have the du. And this is what? Cancel, cancel. So all in all, we're just integrating 1 in the u world. Therefore, the integral of 1 in the u world is just u, right? Are we done? No, because you have to plug this back in, right? Therefore, the final answer is just going to be square root of tangent x. And we are done. Plus c. This is way cooler than the first way I showed you guys. So thank you, Fabian.